Hey, aren't you famous? Didn't, didn't I see you on something online? Maybe. <laughs> what, what's your name? My name? <laughs> I don't have a name. How's it going? <laughs> oh, hey, it's Sam, Sam the Adventure Sam, Man. Sam the Adventure Man. <laughs> you, you just call me Sam the Corey. <laughs> so, uh, here we are, Dash Point. Yes. Sam and I dove Dash Point for many years, and it's still one of my favorite dive sites. Today it's super chill. Um, the dock is closed and because of COVID, and we have some squitters on those the little rafts out there. But Sam and I, we're gonna test out his dry suit. We're gonna go down the dock and then drop down towards the end, and you know just test out his dry suit, pick up some squid jigs. I got a couple of friends that want some squid jigs that go squidding, and uh, we have. The beautiful Ray Ray and the beautiful wife unit, Leslie, and they're going to be our shore support. So if we don't come back up in an hour, they'll probably call somebody. I don't know. <laughs> probably dial dial for help. I, I they'll call it. They'll call for keys. pizza. I'll leave. I'll leave her with the keys, so she can still get home. So yeah. So hopefully we're going to find a cool dive. Uh, we're going to find something cool today. Squish your head. Squish, squish my head. Squish your head. Squish your head. <laughs> I see you drive. Has is the trunk. Working after yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. After you fix the trunk. Yeah. Oh my God. Great. Sam is like a brother from another mother. And when I saw like something yeah, was broken. Corey's like his... a sister from another mister though. Right. 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 <laughs> so I was like, I got to help fix this trunk. So and it was only like a $10 part. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. But anything yeah. to help make your life a little easier, you know? So. Yeah. So now my trunk works. Thank you, Corey. Appreciate yep, that, yep, man. Yep. I'll show you guys a little, just a little, little clip of it. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find some cool. What do we? What do you think we can find? No, oh, I'm. I think 100% we're gonna find uh, some fishing gear, some fishing tackle. I know that you know due to the uh, the situation, um, they have this shut down. So there's not gonna be as much stuff. Um, but I still see you know like you said, there's some people out here fishing. So yeah, right. we'll, we'll definitely find some fishing gear, uh, maybe a few cool bottles. Yeah, uh, and, and we usually find. Uh, and we do we run into it? We found like two lump suckers out here one time. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, because there's a little bit of eel grass that they like to kind of hide in, so we might even like find something cool. Didn't bring, didn't bring the camera, but we have the GoPros. So if we if we do see something cool, we're gonna stop and try to do a little bit of filming of it. Yeah. So. Awesome. Cool. We need to get dressed, man. All right, let's get, get, get out water. there. All right. <sighs> let's see. Let's just head in real quick. But... North out, back asthma, south back. Shore is south. Oh, 
junk out you gonna hang that up on the wall huh is that gonna go in the yard sure or are you gonna recycle it, it can go, it's a boat anchor you're such a dirty Sorry. dirty hobo <laughs> Whew. go see it not really you're gonna it's put gonna a put a out. hole in your suit Whew. yeah all types of good stuff check this out we got first off I don't know if we just start with the best. We'll start with the best thing first, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, Corey found this Verizon Samsung tablet. Freshly dumped because Freshly dumped. no uh, no growth on phone. it. Oh, and if you look at this here, the battery's starting to swell. So it's really good to get these electronic devices out of the environment. It is not good for the environment whatsoever. Also a, uh, a flashlight. More than that, we were able to get all this. You know, there's this bird's nest of you know fishing line and that'll take me an hour to pick through and clean up oh yeah <laughs> it's really good i mean this is not good for the environment it's not good for the critters um actually was able to untangle a crab earlier that was stuck in it so it just felt really good to be able to get this oh man Corey, check this out dude even though 
they had, uh, look at this, they had uh, the, the, the little, little, little glasses saver thing yeah. here. They still lost their glasses. That's hilarious, yep. but not really. Sorry, dude, whoever lost these. <laughs> Design optics. They actually huh. look like pretty good glasses. Pretty good prescription glasses. Ooh, the, the, there was a Zippo that it's gonna be shipped off to somebody who restores those and uh, that does videos on it. Um, Sam's also got a bunch of squid jigs as well. Some pretty decent ones. Also, we got this big solid steel pipe anchor, at least 50 pounds. For some reason, I always find anchors. This is anchor number four. But uh, check out that view. Pretty beautiful, fogs rolling in and out. Beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful dive. Good time, so, good time with friends. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's been another episode of Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle. And uh, thank you for support and thank you for subscribing. Please like, comment, hit notifications. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. If I can do it, you can do it too. All right, Sam. Thank right, you for you having a great dive. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. It was good, good times, Sam. All right. Looking we'll, forward to the next one. Absolutely. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. So here's the squid jigs. I, uh, um, I'm going to just set aside for free for the squidders out there. I wanted to kind of work out a deal for some squid, but you know what? I got to go run a little late. It's getting dark. So good. Just going to hook them up with some free squid jigs. They just got to clean them up and, uh, that's it. So, all right. We'll see you in the next one.